Okay. So one of the things that's been interesting to me recently is the Chinese social credit system. And uh, wondering, could such a system happen in America? And then I kind of realized, oh, wait, it kind of already is, but just the bad parts. So what do I mean by this? So um, if you say something online that is viewed as like not pro-government or pro-society, like, okay, there is no formal government retribution to you. But uh, Twitter mumps are a thing. Cancel culture is a thing. <laughs> like, we don't need the government to, like, handle that because we already have Twitter mobs where if you do something terrible, well, people are going to call you out on it. Even if you don't do something, even if you do something that shouldn't be considered terrible but commonly is considered terrible, you're going to be called out for it. And, like, oh, but these punishments don't matter. Here's the thing. Twitter mobs have gotten people fired before. Twitter mobs do make it harder for you to do, like, move forward in society with – move forward in society and such. And then uh, another thing is, like, oh, drunkenness. If you're too drunk, you're going to have problems. But, um, yeah, the drug war is a thing. <laughs> like, in parts of America, if you're caught smoking a joint twice – you're no longer able to vote. It's significantly harder for you to find a job. And they just send you back and be like, hey, we screwed your life over. Okay. Type of thing. And it's like, okay, so you're caught smoking a joint twice and you're now a felon. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't like smoking weed. I have never smoked weed. I will never smoke weed. But smoking a joint twice, should, should that really make you a felon? Like, and then finally, you have the actual credit system. So, like, the one main thing that in all the articles I read was, like, the would lower your score is, uh, like, this one dude didn't pay court-mandated fines. Um, we have credit system. We have an actual credit system in America, which, like, you don't pay your bills – you're going to have a lower credit score. Like, here's the thing. Every society has had some sort of mediating, some sort of sets of institutions that mediate social behavior. In, like, earlier societies, it was God. In, like, even earlier societies than that, you have, like, tribal, like, everyone knows everyone. Like, every society has some variant of a social credit system. The Chinese system is just like far more formalized. So like, oh, that was one thing I wanted to bring up. Um, at least it benefits you to actually do volunteering and donating. Whereas in America, for example, when uh, the 20 million trees uh, thing was going on, a lot of people called them out and was like, oh, this isn't actually good for the environment, yada, yada. And it's like, they're trying to do something good for humanity, and you're calling them for it? You're, you're calling them out for it? Like, we live in a society where no good deed goes unpunished. So it's like, at least under the Chinese social credit system, you get credit for volunteering. You get credit for donating and not called out for it. It's like, like, every society has some way to mediate social interactions. How can you develop such a system that it actually makes sense and is long standing? So, like, one of my problems with the social credit system in China is no government dissent. Well, the problem with this is the most patriotic and heroic people throughout American history have been the dissenters. So, like, the founding fathers were like, hey, this system sucks. Let's make a better system. And they did. Abraham Lincoln was like, oh, hey, slavery sucks. Let's make a better system. And he did. MLK was like, oh, oh, Jim Crow sucks. Let's make a better system. So they did. <laughs> like, here's the thing. Dissent is a very good way to move forward. But here's the thing. Even in America, we you're not really allowed to dissent. Like, Kaepernick taking a knee was immediately hated. In large parts of America, they're now trying to criminalize the right to protest. So, like, e even the government dissent part of the uh, – of the social credit system, we have variants like that in America as well. <laughs> like, 
we haven't formally criminalized our right to protest, but there are states that are trying to do that. So, but, okay. Also, what is, if something is considered good at one point and then later on becomes considered a bad thing, will you having previously recognized it then be considered a good good thing that I'll, I'll give a, f- a simple example of this gay marriage back last de- last century if you weren't anti gay marriage you couldn't get elected you were you you were just like couldn't get elected nowadays if you're running as a democrat and you're not pro gay marriage you can't get elected now a lot of people switched their opinions from the last century to now on this issue like pretty much all of the all of the progress on gay rights has co- occurred within my lifetime but under a social credit system if you made a criticism if you supported gay marriage back then and now or you didn't support gay marriage back then and now you do would that help you or harm you so like <sighs> Because here's the thing, a lot of people have said things in the past that were perfectly acceptable by the standards of that era, but now are considered bad. So, like, if it helps your credit score then, and now it doesn't, how would that work? Because, like, but here's the thing, we have that already now. Like, Tulsi Gabbard gets called out for being a homophobe back, like, 20 decades, even though she came to be pro-gay marriage pretty much the same time Obama and Hillary Clinton did. It's like, yeah, people evolve on their opinions. And that would be one thing if it was just a people thing, but governments evolve on their opinions. Like, back during the Iraq War, if you didn't support the Iraq War, you were considered unpatriotic. Nowadays, if you support the Iraq War, you're almost considered unpatriotic. So, like... Even a lot of the weird government criticism, we have a version of that in America. So, and I didn't even talk about the actual credit system and the stupidity of that. I think that would actually make more sense for a different video. Okay, so I have two more videos that would actually go well with this. Um, Yeah, seven minutes. And I'm kind of just rambling at this point. So, uh... Yeah, I'm going to play this back. If it doesn't sound completely stupid, I'll post it.